nine years old when I got a camera and my father mistake he did this big mistake by handing this camera to me because uh, first I took pictures of my siblings the animals in the house I used to keep a lot of animals and uh, eventually I think uh, I started photographing for a teenager magazine then there was no turning back after that I was about 15 and photography was it I personally love black and white, but I like it for what, it's, uh, what it says. For me, a portrait of a person should be in black and white because it's, it's pulling the true essence of the person out. I, don't, I think that uh, color actually distracts you and you can, there's so much, so much soft focus you can do with, uh, with, uh, with color. You, know, you, can, you can confuse the people into not believing the person or not seeing the real person, but with black and white, there is, it's your working towards you know, capturing the person. So for me, black and white works there. But if you're doing fashion and you want to make, a, you know, make a statement, then color is great. Um, I, I sort of uh, work with both, and I, I enjoy myself a lot with uh, either color or black and white. But uh, you always uh, prefer black and white in the end of it. I think it's easy to probably talk about the dead ones because the, the, they won't complain. Um, photographing Madame Nurjan was uh, fabulous. Um, Alan Fakir, who is a, a person who loves the camera and the camera loved. Um, Nusrat Fateh Ali, I had a great time photographing him. I was actually on stage with him. So I was one of the Kavals and photographing him at, from that aspect was really interesting image. Um, uh, I think just walking on the roads, you can find kind of find the most interesting people. I have like uh, done some of my favorite shots ever on uh, Jeff Fakir's walking around. You know, I have been working for so many years that uh, it's really difficult to come up with the narrowing down what you really like. Um, let's start with uh, number five. Number five. Um, um, I was at uh, Satchal Sai, which is a mazar outside in Sindh, and uh, I was just uh, photographing the minaret, and there were tons of birds sitting on it. And I was like, I set up my shot, and I told the little boy who was, you know, whenever you go to a mazar, you get tons of little children who follow you around. So I said, Bhaiya, tum paanch rupay mein tumhe dunga. Jab mein bolu, to phattar maro, aur chudiyon ko dao. So, uh, I had told him go and he threw a stone and uh, all of a sudden these birds flew and they flew in a circular motion around the mazar, uh, the turret. And uh, that was the shot, it was real fun. Number four, uh, okay, um, let's put Barbara at number four. Barbara is one of those people who uh, you can, I mean, she is, it's horrible to say because she is Barbara, but in real life, Barbara is not photogenic. Barbara is somebody you would ignore on the roadside. But the camera loves her. And it was uh, for Herald magazine, it was just us doing Barbara as different people. And uh, the image I really like of hers is one in which she's, a, she's Louise Brooks. All right, number three mm, in this weird countdown. Um, Ali Azmat would probably slap me for putting him in number three, but uh, whatever. So I said, you know, this is going to be real cliched, but it'll be fun to take Ali and have Ali shave his head in, uh, you know, in a hammam. So I uh, told the hammam bala and went there and he was very thrilled. Ke, Ali Asmat aayega, ab bata dein pehle, hum apne dosthon ke bhi I was okay, I didn't tell him, I just turned up. Ali got a malish and he got a shave while I photographed him. It was a really interesting experience. The shot I've selected for you as number two was a shot which I had, uh, again, the camera's always on me. I'm one of those people who doesn't go anywhere without it. So I was uh, traveling uh, to Andaman and Krabi. It was a little res resort out there called the Andaman Sea Resort. And uh, I 
just saw this sunset happening and it looked really interesting so I walked towards it and when I got there it was the most spectacular sunset I've ever in my life seen. It was actually like the, the sea and the sky were one and the sea was on fire. For number one, number one, uh, the most difficult shot to select. Um, uh, Madame Nurjan is one of those people who, I guess she's not one of those people who wants to be photographed in any way other than what she wants to be photographed as. Whenever she was to be photographed, she was to tighten up her cheeks and chin and whatever, pull up her skin and make herself look very young. But she was an aging grandmother and uh, to take her picture when she was unaware was uh, wonderful. And uh, in the shot, she's actually let her guard down. She's looking into a mirror and she's, you know, just being herself. And uh, that's the most candid shot I've ever seen of hers. And that's my favorite shot. Ira is just beautiful. She is somebody who the camera loves and she loves the camera, so she performs for it. Okay, uh, beauty really is in the eye of the beholder. And uh, it's not just the beholder, it's also the camera. So the camera can take really good pictures of really ugly people who you'd in, uh, you know, in normal daily life actually just avoid or ignore. But the camera finds something in them, you know, the way the, the light falls on the planes of their face is so unique that it makes them beautiful. I, I don't have an involvement in film. Um, for me, it's still the still camera and uh, God knows what happens in the future if you sort of evolve into that. But uh, for myself, I think it's time. I've done work for over 25, 30 years. So I have an archive which is amazing and uh, for me, what I intend to do for the next few is to put that archive together and to take out book after book and that's what I'm actually working on is uh, putting together everything and coming out with a few books. Mm -hmm.